I'm in, enjoying it so far. It's a long way from home, but um, yeah, I think there's a lot of similarities between Ireland and New Zealand, uh, especially culturally. Um, and yeah, I'm lucky I get on with all the all the guys in the changing room and all the people in Ireland. And I'm lucky I'm here with Max as well. So yeah, that's been really good. I didn't know anything about Sligo. I had about three days from finding out about the club's offer to actually being here. So it was very quick for me, um, but it didn't really bother me that much. Just, I knew that there was a lot of competition football being played, and that was the main reason that I came here. I didn't really feel like I needed to know much more than that. And obviously Nando was here as well, so it was pretty comfortable making that move, you know? Yeah, yeah, the landscape is, is quite similar. Um, it rains here a lot more than in New Zealand, but yeah, in New Zealand we have, we have like the mountains, we have the ocean as well, and lakes, and we have like similar here, so in that situation, yeah, it's, it's similar. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect really, and I was yeah, pleasantly surprised. Like, you could feel it in the town, because it's such a small town. You know people, they come and talk to you, and they go like talk about the um, the European experience and it kind of lifts everyone up and um, we were lucky that we, we did well, we, we won a few games in Europe and yeah, it just had a positive vibe around, around the whole town and within the team as well and the club. You always want to do well, not for yourself but for the, the club, but you want to do well for the community. It's different to other clubs where it's a community based club, community owned club, so you want to do well for the, the people you see around um, most of the days in the town, so yeah, there's lots of things that adding, uh, adding to making me want to do well so yeah definitely um, like Nando said it, it is a different feeling it's kind of like the, the purpose means a bit more you know um, it's a bit deeper so you feel connected I guess with the fans with the town itself um, it's not just like you're putting on a red t-shirt and going kicking a ball around like you really know what you're playing for um, which is special yeah it's pretty unique feeling to be honest. Yeah, I think it's tougher than I thought initially. Um, it's very yeah, challenging physical league and there's no easy games. So, and there's a lot of games as well, like the fixture list is always packed every season, so. Obviously Aiden had a late move in the transfer window. So that pretty much meant that I went from the second striker to the first striker uh, at that point in time and then that obviously was a big help as well, like getting consistent minutes um, and I guess gelling with the new players as well uh, was very important and yeah, I guess like sometimes you playing really well and scoring lots of goals and sometimes it's not happening, you know, so that's just football. Yeah, it's always better when your, your friends and your teammates are doing well. Like I always want them to score as many goals as possible, I tell them every time during the game, like, make sure you score today, help us out. Um, so, no, it's awesome to, to see him doing so well. And, um, yeah, I think a lot of it is how well, like, we get on with our teammates in the club, how much the manager trusts him and trusts our team. We aim high and we take, like Nando said, that there really is no easy games. It doesn't matter who you play or where you play them. It's a tough game. So we have to take it one game at a time. And our aim never changes. We're trying to win, it doesn't matter when the game is, We're always trying to win and if we continue to do that and achieve that then only good things will happen.